legal to lock people up for two days if they have if they if they have. He could be arrested as our Prime Minister. He could be arrested, fine. So now I'm not a supporter of Boris Johnson. I've always been an opponent of the Conservative Party, but I'm coming here dressed fully respectfully for them today because I realise that this is affecting everybody in British society and that the decisions that have been made, insane decisions, not based on scientific fact, have resulted in this kind of insanity. That the Prime Minister of the country has to lock himself away and pretend that there's some logic behind it, even though the chance of him catching the virus a second time is less than one in a hundred million. Only six recorded cases in the world of transmission a second time and all of them were asymptomatic except for one case and in that case the patient had not been simple mildly symptomatic the first time and symptomatic the second time in other words the chance i mean let me just put it in context there's a one in a hundred million chance that boris johnson could come down with covid19 a second time that's stretching it there's a one in a million chance that you'll give birth to a two-headed baby. So it's a hundred times more likely that you'll give birth to a two-headed baby than it is that Boris Johnson will come down sick with COVID-19 a second time. And therefore what we have illustrated by the circumstances of the Prime Minister of Britain behind these doors, who if he walks out of these doors now, can be and should be according to their own regulations, arrested by the police officers here if he leaves the house across the road here. That is how mad the policies have become. And I have been arrested two times in the last 14 days whilst campaigning to explain the truth about the virus, about public safety, and in particular, the core of the problem, which is that the PCR test does not detect whether you are ill with COVID-19. The PCR test is designed to detect the presence of a virus or of, vi of components of the virus, or better said, remnants of a dead virus. Most people who are tested positive for SARS-CoV-2, the virus, do not acquire or you'll, you'll get ill with COVID-19. And therefore we have vast numbers of people, hundreds of thousands every day, tested for this test that does not work and then tells half of them or more who are asymptomatic, have nothing wrong with them, cannot transmit the virus, do not come down ill and they are locked up and their friends and, and people they've met are also locked up. That's how we've ended up with a total madness that Boris Johnson is enclosed in his own room for 14 days at a time when Britain requires leadership in the country. One, you've got the Brexit crisis. Two, you've got the lockdown. And three, we have a social and economic and health crisis sweeping across the country, which will result in far more deaths from collateral damage that are being caused by the virus itself. At the moment, in Britain, in Sweden, in Germany, in Austria, and many other countries where they're imposing insane lockdowns, there are no excess deaths no excess deaths. So what is the entire panic about? It's a, it's a manufactured panic at the moment. I'm not saying COVID-19 isn't real. I'm not saying SARS-CoV. In fact, I was the person at Speaker's Corner on the 9th of March who called for a lockdown across the entire country for three weeks at that time. At that time, I was mocked and laughed at. We distributed a video on Double Down Media on the 12th of March this year in which we called for a lockdown immediately for three weeks. They ignored that, and that resulted possibly in large numbers of deaths. But there are no additional deaths now. We're locking up students. We're locking up nurses. We're locking up doctors. We're locking up completely healthy people and declaring that they're a danger and a risk. They are no risk. They cannot transmit if they're asymptomatic. You cannot even transmit if you're pre-symptomatic. So why are we locking up the whole country? Why is the whole country shut down? Why are these officers forced to arrest the Prime Minister if he decides to leave his house? And yet, 
when their rules are broken on their own or by themselves, by Dominic Cummings. That's completely ignored and he isn't charged with anything. We have entered a world of total and absolute madness. And then we have two drug companies who have produced not a normal vaccine. So this idea about denigrating people for uh, rejecting the present vaccine, the present vaccine is an mRNA vaccine proposed by Moderna and by Pfizer. These have been tested. The test they reported in the newspapers was a press release. It was not peer reviewed. In the case of Pfizer, there were 94 people in this non-peer reviewed press release justifying the government buying tens of millions of doses of this vaccine before it's even been passed for use for the public. And then you have Moderna today giving another press release to push up their share prices and make billionaires out of nothing. And they only had 95 people in their test. 95! And that's supposed to be fact. That's supposed to be truth. And we're supposed to take this drug and inject our friends, family, parents, and the age cohort who die from COVID-19 is over 75 year olds with comorbidities. There have been no tests on over 75 year olds with comorbidities. So who are they trying to con? They're trying to trick us into desperately demanding a vaccine for which they are asking from immunity for prosecution if the vaccine causes illness or if it causes death. And they're asking for emergency passing of this vaccine without the necessary standard, according to the American Centre for Disease Control, 10 to 15 years of tests for a safety of a vaccine. And the last vaccine they tried out on us, don't forget, was the swine flu vaccine. And when they imposed the swine flu vaccine, millions of copies were bought, millions of people injected, and 2,000 people, healthy people, came down with narcolepsy thereafter. They fall asleep suddenly on the streets. That was the consequence of the swine flu pandemic scare. There was no, no swine flu significant death from swine flu. And all that was hyped by the World Health Organization and by Neil Ferguson of Imperial College. The same people are behind the same confidence trick now being pulled with no justification whatsoever to pretend we are all in some mortal danger from COVID-19 and SARS-CoV-2. We are not. Free Boris Johnson, down with the lockdown. No, no lockdown for people who are healthy. Only separate infectious and sick people. Only isolate infectious and sick people. And let the rest of us be free. Thank you very much, guys. See, have a good evening. All right, guys. Much safer to come here than to come to the Speaker's <laughs> Corner. How mad is that? That's crazy, isn't it? Because it's not going to look good in front of us. And the point being, there's nobody here, so the acoustics are wonderful. Great. I don't even need... No need for that. No, you're, you're allowed. Great. I'm going to see if I can get into Downing Street. Yeah. OK, right, see you later. See you later. Yeah? Hi. Hi. Can I come in for the... Um... Oh, wow. Are you... Are you on our list? I'm not, no. I was just... Uh, I got a press card. I was wondering oh, if I could cover the... You need a proper NUJ card. I need an NUJ, oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, so... it's like racism against press cards. <laughs> uh, well, it's a particular press card that they allow. Right. I couldn't ever come in with this then.
Never. Freedom. Never ever. Never okay. Ever. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. This is an X. How you doing, guy? So that's me. Never ever getting into uh, into Downing Street. Got to be with the NUJ. Yeah, guys, I've got my press card now, so. Uh, got the card, but not the right one, yeah. Alright, guys, uh, not sure what's going on. Perhaps I'll have a little walk around with you all. Alright, guys, how you doing? So just a quick update, um, I'll be in Liverpool on the 21st, November the 21st, um, so that will be interesting, and then we'll be in London on the 24th, uh, sorry the 28th, for Save Our Rights. Yeah, I got my press card about three hours ago, which I'm pleased with. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's evening or afternoon? Apply for Super Chat. I have, I have. NUJ, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you the card. I'll cover the. Uh... <laughs> NUJ membership is. Uh... I know it's like £10 a month. I'm not sure uh, if you have to pay an upfront fee. Yeah, London is a ghost town, especially on the weekdays. Uh, Isaac is a uh, trade union, workers, in workers of England. Um, so is proper press card by law. Just walking back now to uh, Piccadilly Circus. Uh, if you missed it, uh, go to the start of the stream and you'll see what, what it was about. How's the sound guys? I've got a new uh, microphone. I'm using a different microphone, shall I say. Perfect, good, good. Yeah, the wind was giving me, uh, giving me troubles on, uh, well, yesterday, wasn't it? All good, a bit of wind, oh, dead cats. Better than Hyde Park, yeah, it was just terrible, wasn't it? Um, I've ordered a new mic off eBay uh, with a proper wind protection on it, so that should be it by the, by the weekend. Apparently uh, XR did a bit of a protest today, I missed that. 
uh, throwing black paint all over the floor. Uh, yeah, I spoke to Resistance GB. Uh, he was released uh, and charged. I can't remember what he, what he was charged with now, but he's got to go to court. Um, he's got a court date. Does anyone know what he was charged with? Uh, Tyrant Finder, can you update us? I can't remember what he said now. Did anyone see the uh, speech by Desmond Swain um, about how the British government have learned a lesson about how easily the British people will roll over and allow, uh, allow their rights to be taken away from them at a moment's notice? It's on my Twitter if you want to go have a look. You might have to scroll down a bit though. GL, I use my phone. I use my uh, Huawei Mate 10. Uh, Resistance, he's put his video out now. Is he? Yeah, go check that out. Resistance GB. And he'll update you, obviously, with his uh, arrest. Like there's some skateboarding going on up here. Perhaps they've uh, perhaps they've uh, moved from South Bank to uh, National Gallery. Uh, at first I thought it was to stop um, people from sitting there, but I went and spoke to the guy and he said they're doing some uh, doing some works on it. There's some repair works, I don't know how true that is, but the barriers do kind of seem to, with the livery, seems to give away that it's some sort of repair job. Yes, my name is Sam English. <laughs> Believe it or not. Hola. This is just going to be a short one, guys. I'm just heading back to um, to Piccadilly Circus, so I'm going to end it there. I do that quite a lot, uh, chem skies. When I'm uh, finished what I'm doing normally, and uh, if I have a few people on, I just do a walk around London and uh, and just talk about it.
go to, uh, down through uh, Leicester Square. I wonder if uh, Immortal Aliens is around. I could stay out a bit longer if he was around. I'd just go around with him. Does anyone know if he's alive? How much data does four hours of streaming? It, it works out about a gig an hour at, at 720p. Um, which isn't that bad, considering. going on here. Every time I come to London uh, something changes. Christmas market, oh yeah that makes sense. Is it Christmas market? Is it Christmas market? Huh? Is it Christmas market? Oh, you're on a phone. Oh, could have said. <laughs> Just stared at me until for like asked him like three times. So the chances they set all this up and then. Uh, Uh, well, here, look, it says uh, Leicester Square Electricity Infrastructure Upgrade, so it can't be Christmas Market. Do a tour of the nearest hospital. Where is the nearest hospital? It's probably in uh, the other side of Westminster Bridge, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, guys, if you've, if you've joined the chat, join the stream, uh, go right back to the beginning to see what this video is all about. Now I'm just walking through London. Anyone going to a march this weekend? In their local major city or town. I'll put a, uh, a picture in my community tab with all the uh, all the events going on this weekend. Uh, Luke, have a look at my community tab. That'll tell you where everything is happening this weekend. Charing Cross Hospital. 
No, I'm not going to go to the hospital today. <laughs> I'm after Mackie's. I think you just read my mind. No, they're all closed, I think. I wonder if, uh, what's his name's around? Social experimentalist. He's always a good laugh, isn't he? And he's shine. Oh, look at that camera rig. Imagine trying to live stream with that. It's a proper rig, isn't it? Needs two people to carry it. Must have cost a fortune. No, it's just a bit of sarcasm, free Boris from his, his self-isolation. Because it is nonsense, isn't it, really? Because he's already had COVID. Central London's dead. never going to be a long stream. I'm going to end it here. Thanks everyone for joining and I'll see you on Saturday for uh, for Liverpool uh, which will be good. Um, I'll be introducing someone that's going to going to be helping me. Uh, I'll put his channel in the uh, in the uh, community tab. So he'll be streaming as well on Liverpool, in Liverpool on Saturday. Thanks everyone for joining and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe.